Jeremy Corbyn blasts David Cameron for wholly inadequate response to refugee crisis after images of drowned Syrian child emerge. Jeremy Corbyn has hit out at David Cameron over his wholly inadequate response to the Syrian refugee crisis after the emergence of a powerful image showing a dead child washed up on a beach in Turkey. The Labour leadership frontrunner said Britain was being shamed by our European neighbours by refusing to take in more than just a few hundred Syrian refugees and said we were failing in our duty under international law and as human beings to offer those fleeing conflict a place of safety. Now that's great Jeremy, well done, but you can't only tell half the truth. You should now go on to say that we need to put pressure on America and Saudi Arabia to stop arming and funding ISIS, which is destabilizing most of the Middle East. And that the reason these countries are war-torn is because of America, NATO and the UK. You need to follow it up by saying that Cameron wanted to support the Syrian rebels in 2013 and those rebels were in fact ISIS. You need to say the last thing we need to do is have another vote on bombing Syria when Cameron himself has called for peace and stability in that country. Well, we have taken a number of uh, uh, genuine asylum seekers uh, from Syrian refugee camps uh, and we keep that under review. But we uh, think the most important thing is to try to uh, bring peace and stability to that part of the world. You need to ask the public if bombing a country will bring peace and stability or more death, destruction and migration. The trouble is, Jeremy, if you only speak half-truths all the time, then people will simply see you as someone who's whinging, who's someone who's being opportunistic, and they'll soon see you as a joke and not to be taken seriously. But to become relevant, and to get the country on your side, you have to tell the whole truth. You have to tell the whole story. Then more and more people will sit up and listen to what you've got to say. That is, of course, unless you're being told not to tell the whole truth. Who knows? You should also call for the banking levy to be upped to 5% from its currently very low level of 0.12%. This would generate about £23 billion a year. That would help pay for the refugees. Just have a think about how much money the bankers have made out of war over the years. Just how much of their bonuses are due to wars that are going on around the planet. And could you imagine Cameron's response if one of the ships that capsized in the Mediterranean was an HSBC charter boat with their executives on board? I wonder how quickly he would organise a response to save those people. My God, I bet Cameron himself would surf out through the sewage to save the drug laundering, terrorist supporting bankers.